Welcome to More Talk. I'm Stephen Moore, here with my guest today, Dr. Joanna Bradley, a Spanish professor here at ECU. Dr. Bradley, um, you originally graduated from the University of Texas with a degree in communications. What, what did you want to do? Well, my degree, my PhD from the University of Texas is in the area of applied linguistics. So it's looking at languages, how languages work, and how people learn a foreign language. Okay. Um, what, did you always want to be a Spanish professor? I never thought I would be teaching. Um, my undergraduate degree was in Spanish, and then I had the opportunity to go to the country of Colombia and study for three years and do a master's degree in communication there. And I really thought I was going to be an international journalist. Um, but when I was at the University of Texas, I had the opportunity to start teaching Spanish and just loved it. And I've done that for 13 years. Okay. Um, you taught somebody pretty famous at the University of Texas, didn't you? Who was that? Mm, Ricky Williams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty big name. Um, applied linguistics, what, what kind of career can you have with that? Um, pretty much what I'm doing, and that's looking at languages and how you teach languages, but we make sure that anybody who's going to go into teaching has had some background in applied linguistics. Okay. Um, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with Dr. Joanna Bradley. And we're back with Dr. Joanna Bradley. Um, more and more people, especially in North Carolina, are from Spanish-speaking countries. Is it getting more and more important to be able to speak another language like Spanish? Um, it is. Once a semester, I have the folks from the Career Center to come and talk to our students. The number one skill they're looking for in any job, construction, computers, anything, is your ability to speak Spanish. I mean, you know how important communication is, and if you can do that in two languages, you know, you're doubly valuable. I've had students working at banks and said even with level four Spanish, they've been able to get people's social security numbers, information, communicate, do what they need to do, real basic communication. Um, but Spanish will help you, even trying to get your foot in the door with an interview. If all the applicants are equal, they're gonna choose the one who knows Spanish. Um, would you say Spanish is easier or harder to learn than other languages? Um, it's relative. I think it starts off kind of easy because I think generally English speakers are familiar. We have lots of food words, taco and cafe and salsa that we know that we're familiar with. But um, as you, you know, as you move up in the higher levels of Spanish, those tenses are, are quite challenging. I wouldn't compare it to anything like Chinese, but yeah, I think it's challenging. Okay. Um, and do you believe that Spanish uh, is helpful in getting a job after graduation? even just a couple of courses. Yes, absolutely. Anything you can communicate, your numbers, um, even just being able to carry on a conversation with somebody, it's gonna be really, really important. And I also wanna say one, one thing, it adds um, as an individual, what's going on in your brain when you're learning a foreign language, you're actually developing these synapses that brain scans have shown that even um, people who are bilingual have lower rate of Alzheimer's. There's all kinds of things happening in your brain. So the sooner you learn it as a younger person and the longer you speak a foreign language, it really will help you. Thank you. And for my guest, Dr. Joanna Bradley, I'm Stephen Moore, and this has been More Talk.